Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. So in the previous video, I showed you how to create a model with Vue.js, also using Vue use to close when you click outside. And that was okay, but in this video, I'm going to show you a better way to create models using the dialog HTML element. And here we are on the Mozilla. The dialog HTML element represents a modal or non-modal dialog box or other interactive component and the HTML dialog element is used to create both modal and non-modal dialog boxes. Here also here we have JavaScript should be used to display the dialog element. So using the show modal method to display a modal dialog and the show method to display a non-modal dialog. And the dialog box can be closed using the close method or using the dialog method when submitting a form that is nested within the dialog element and we have some examples here so here we have the dialog attribute open and also the form with method dialog and the button ok now here is the result as you can see we have a uh, dialog and we can close by saying by clicking this ok button so okay so let's start and work with that i'm going to i'm inside the terminal and here i'm going to say npm create with at latest hit enter uh, i'm going to name it a view dialog this one and choose view typescript and then we need to cd to the project so view dialog and then npm install first and i'm going to open also with a vs code okay let's clean and let's open with a vs code and of course if i read more so let's go up here we can see that the model dialogs can also be closed by pressing the escape key okay so on the source directory open the app dot view and also let me just for the styles i'm going to open the tile in css and Let's copy this. Go to index.html and I'm going to pass that one. Save, close. Okay, so on the app.view, I'm going to remove everything we have here. And the styles. And inside, I'm going to add a dialog and just say for now open. And then in here, we can go and I'm going to close this and copy this one to paste it inside. When we click that this one is going to close, I'm going to say just close instead of OK. And let's see now, so around the npm around dev. And let's open the localhost in here and yeah here we have yeah of course we need some more classes here so on the dialog let's add some classes i'm going to say class to be bg white with the sales hot text is going to be black and maybe with add around it the bmd and padding of six now if i save and let's see yeah we have something like this the button is not looking good, so let's add some classes also here. PX3, PY, B2, and BG, with us say Indigo uh, 500. On hover, we can change that to be BG Indigo 700. And also, let's say, rounded MD here. Yeah, if I click, it's going to close. And if I refresh, we have opened that. But we want the open and close from a button. And a good idea is to have this inside a component so we can reuse anywhere we want. So let's go to components and create a new component here. And I'm going to name it dialog.view. And I'm going to first add the script setup and also land the bts 
and then add template and inside the template I'm going to paste this one okay right now just let's uh, use that dialog component in here we need to import so import the dialog component and let's see if everything is okay yeah as you can see if I refresh close refresh close okay now let's start and work in here first of all I want to create a constant so let's say constant and maybe I'm going to name it dialog ref to be equal with a ref from view and because we use TypeScript uh, I'm going to say without a type which is going to be HTML uh, dialog I think we have yeah dialog element or no okay and then on this dialog I'm going to remove now the open and just add a reference and say dialog ref okay now we have reference to this dialog what we can do is create uh, two methods I'm going to create an open and close method so let's create a constant and I'm going to name it a uh, show dialog which is going to be equal with the dialog ref dot value and this I'm going to add a question mark because this may be null and here now I'm going to call the show modal okay what we saw on the Mozilla and also let's create one for the close model so let's say const and close dialog which tend to be equal with dialog ref that value close okay but now we want to open and close this dialog from this up view and also let me just cut everything here and I'm going to add a slot so we can pass what we want on this dialog component from the up view or any component we want and right now it's not showing but if I say in dialog to be open yeah it's showing okay so how we can get this show dialog and close dialog on the opted view if you go to Vue.js and let's search for the ref on component so here we have a ref on component as you can see we are on the parent which means in our case on the upload view we can import the component the child as you can see create a constant and then on the child component when we render that we add a reference with that constant and on mounted this child value will hold an instance of child and then on the child we can expose so define expose any uh, constant or values we want okay so let's do that let's open the dialog value which is a child and here first I'm going to say define expose and what we want to expose the show and close dialog okay on the update view I'm going to create a constant here and let's name it uh, not dialog ref but I'm going to name it dialog target which is going to be equal with a ref from view and because we use TypeScript I'm not going to say HTML element but I'm going to say instance type and let's say type of uh, dialog or null or we can just say type of dialog and also remove the node here and this dialog tar target is going to be type of dialog so on this uh, dialog component now we can add a ref 
the unlock target. Okay. Now, if I say on mounted, and for now, just let's say console log uh, the unlock target, open the project and inspect the element. Go to the console, as we can see, here we have, if I say dot value save, we have the show dialog and close dialog, which are functions, as you can see here. Okay. So we have access on the up view to this show and close dialog. So let's close now this. I just wanted to show you. And I prefer to say show to rename that and also just close, close the yellow. Let's cut this and let's add a div. And inside this div, I'm going to add the button and then let's add the dialog. Okay. So yeah, we have called this dialog target that show, which I don't like. I prefer to create a method. So let's create method const show dialog, which is going to be equal with an arrow function dialog target value show and then just call this here okay let's add some classes to this button and let's say and let's see on the browser we have this uh, open dialog button which is this button here and when we click we call this show dialog which is going to trigger this dialog targeted value show here and let's see if i click open yeah it's going to open if i click close close open close open and if i click escape it's going to close as well but if i click outside it's not going to close right now just with if i click escape yes and we can fix also that one so in the dialog component i'm going to add on click event in here so on the dialog itself and let's say uh, i'm going to call close from event method and i'm going to copy this and create that method so function with that name which is going to receive an event and this event is going to be of type event which is going to return void and now what we can do here is i'm going to check if the event dot current target is triple equal with the event dot target what we can do is just close the dialog like this and I'm going to zoom it out for a bit so this is all of the setup so we have import a ref and also create a constant dialog ref and then create uh, two methods we expose all of them both of them and then create this function close from event so when we click on this dialog is going to check if the event current target is triple equal with event target is going to call this close dialog which is going to close the model and let's save and let's try refresh and if i click open it's going to open close is going to close open and escape open click outside close open click inside nothing click outside it's going to close and if i close this refresh open the dialog and click tab we are here tab again is focused this button and now hit enter it's going to close okay friends that's it all about this video i hope you enjoy and if you like such a videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video and share with your friends all the best and thank you very much